Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Uh, welcome to our channel. My name is Mr. Hassan and the channel you're watching is Malimu Hassan. Chapter 6 Carbon and some of its compounds. Carbon is the first element in group 4 of the periodic table. It is represented by the symbol C. With atomic number 6, it contains 6 protons and 6 electrons. Carbon exists in two forms, crystalline and amorphous. In crystalline solids, the constituent particles are arranged in a definite order. But in amorphous solids, the particles have no definite order of arrangement. Coal, cork, and charcoal are amorphous forms of carbon. Diamond, graphite, and fullerene are crystalline forms of carbon. Both these forms are called allotropes of carbon. Allotropes are forms of the same element which exhibit different physical properties, but with the same chemical composition. Let us now look at the crystalline forms of carbon. Diamond. Diamond is the hardest form of crystal carbon. In diamond, each carbon atom is bonded to four other carbon atoms by covalent bonds, forming a rigid three-dimensional structure. Diamond's density is 3.5 grams per cubic centimeters. Here, no electrons are available as they are all involved in bonding. Because of the absence of free electrons, diamond is a bad conductor of electricity. Diamond has a high melting point of 400 Kelvin or more. Graphite In graphite, each carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atoms by covalent bonds, resulting in hexagonal rings which are arranged in layers above each other. One of the carbon-carbon bonds is a double bond, and thus the valency of carbon is satisfied. Since one electron of each carbon atom in graphite is free to move about, graphite is a good conductor of electricity. The layers are held together by weak van der Waals forces. Due to its structure, graphite is not as hard as diamond and is greasy. It's gray in color and opaque with metallic luster. Graphite's density varies from 2 to 2.5 grams per cubic centimeters and melts at 1,800 Kelvin. Fullerene Chemically, fullerenes are formed by chemical combinations of a large number of carbon atoms. The first one to be identified was C60. Fullerenes are often called buckyballs. The shape of fullerene resembles that of a soccer ball with both six member and five member rings. There are 12 five member rings and 26 member rings. In fullerene, all the carbon atoms are found to be equivalent and are connected by both single and double bonds. Chemical properties of carbon. Combustion When carbon is heated, it glows red. A colorless gas is produced which reacts with calcium hydroxide to form a white precipitate. The red glow shows that the reaction produces heat. The white precipitate shows that the gas produced is carbon-4 oxide. All forms of carbon burn in oxygen to produce carbon-4 oxide. However, the temperature at which they burn varies from one allotrope to another. Reduction properties of carbon in this experiment, we shall heat together a mixture of black carbon powder and black copper 2 oxide. 
the gas evolved is passed into a solution of calcium hydroxide or lime water. We notice the white precipitate of calcium carbonate formed as the gas is bubbled in the lime water. This means that the gas is carbon dioxide. As the black mixture is heated, the copper 2 oxide is reduced to reddish brown copper by carbon, which is itself being oxidized to carbon 4 oxide. After the tube has been cooled, we can see the copper that has been formed at the bottom of the tube. When we pour the mixture at the end of the experiment, we can see that it is now red-brown due to the presence of copper. Similarly, carbon removes combined oxygen from zinc oxide, lead 2 oxide and iron 3 oxide. Carbon has the ability to remove combined oxygen from other metals. In these reactions, carbon is oxidized to carbon 4 oxide and the metal oxides are reduced to metals. In terms of competition for combined oxygen, carbon can be placed in the reactivity series of metal between aluminium and zinc. Thus, it reduces the oxides of all metals below it in the reactivity series. Therefore, carbon is a reducing agent. Oxidation is the addition of oxygen to a substance, while reduction is the removal of oxygen from a substance. The reducing property of carbon is used in the extraction of metals from their oxides. At temperatures above 1200 degrees Celsius, carbon reduces steam to hydrogen gas. Carbon in turn is oxidized to carbon 2 oxide. A mixture of the two gases is called water gas. Carbon 4 oxide. Carbon 4 oxide or carbon dioxide is the most stable oxide of carbon and is found as a colorless odorless gas. It is made up of three atoms, one carbon and two oxygen atoms held together by covalent bonds, which means the electrons are shared between the atoms. Carbon 4 oxide makes up 0.39% of our atmosphere and it freezes at about negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Frozen carbon 4 oxide is called dry ice. Because it takes a lot of pressure to turn carbon 4 oxide into a liquid, when dry ice warms up, it turns directly from solid to a gas in what we call sublimation. Carbon 4 oxide is a rich source of the element carbon and the most important building block of life on Earth. Green plants use carbon 4 oxide during photosynthesis turning the carbon into the sugar glucose during the process of fixation. Animals now use the glucose for energy. Carbon-4 oxide is used to extinguish fire and preservation of drinks often called carbonated drinks. Carbon-4 oxide from yeast and baking soda makes the duff to rise. In the laboratory, carbon-4 oxide is synthesized by reacting calcium carbonate with dilute hydrochloric acid. A few pieces of calcium carbonate are taken into a round-bottomed flask. Dilute hydrochloric acid is added and carbon-4 oxide is evolved steadily. The gas is collected in the jar by upward displacement of air because it is denser than the air itself. Carbon-4 oxide is a unique gas in that it has no liquid phase at normal atmospheric pressure. This is the solid form, dry ice. By sealing some dry ice in a balloon and using a warm bath of water, we see how it sublimes quickly to a gas.
carbon-4 oxide is about 1.5 times denser than air. It does not support combustion, but will react with burning metals such as magnesium.